it's good to see you up. How are you feeling today? Oh, silly, you're so funny. Look, I brought you some breakfast. You gotta eat healthy to keep your strength up. Come on. Please don't be like that. Yummy, yummy. Cereal and toast and juice and more cereal. All part of a balanced breakfast. That's what the TV tells me. And look, no knives. No more knives for you. Not after last time. That was just so strange. I still don't know why you tried to cut me with a knife. I mean, I wasn't on the menu. <laughs> Plus, it's not like something like that could hurt me. I'm imaginary. Well, imaginary and real. But nothing you do could actually hurt me. So I think you were just being silly. Right? You were playing a game with me. Only I didn't know I was playing. Right? Oh! That was rude! Why would you say that? You're my best friend. You should be nice to me. You're my favorite person in the entire universe. Aren't I your favorite person too? Aren't I? Yay, I'm so glad. I knew we were best friends. Always and forever. Now you should eat this tasty breakfast. What do you mean? Sure, ask me whatever you want. But then, you have to eat. No, silly. We already talked about this. I can't take the chain off. If I do that, you might try to run away again. Don't you remember what happened last time? You scared me so much. I'm your imaginary friend. I'm supposed to keep you safe. And take care of you. But you almost... When you jumped out the window, it was like you were trying to hurt yourself. You weren't doing that, right? You wouldn't really try to hurt yourself, right? No, of course you wouldn't. You'd never do that. It was just an accident. You were opening the window to let in the breeze and accidentally almost fell out. Accidents happen. I know that. Still, it was scary. It's like when you were little. Gotta be careful to keep you safe. So the chain is for your own good. Doesn't that make sense? Everything I do is for your own good. I make sure you have everything you need. I mean, how great is that, right? You never have to go anywhere else, ever. But... This again... <sighs> I don't get it. I don't get why you keep asking to leave. I mean, think about it. Where would you go? What would you do? I'm here. This is a safe place. Like the pillow forts we used to build when you were small. It's so much less safe out in the rest of the world. The people out there are mean and scary. And they hurt you. Remember? The world out there is not a nice place. I've seen it for myself. It scared me a lot. Think about it. The only reason I'm here is because you needed me. You are hurting so much, and you needed Pepper to come take care of you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. But you needed me, so I came. I would always be there for you, no matter what. That's the kind of friend I am bestest kind. So you really should listen to me and let me do my job. It's not like a job, really. It's a pleasure. I love taking care of my best friend. I can make sure you're never sad again. But see, that's where you're wrong. But it's okay to be wrong, as long as we can learn from it. Well, you say that now, but... If I let you go outside, you'll be even sadder. This may be... 
challenging, but that will change. Remember, nothing is really hard, it's just new. This situation is new, but you'll get used to it eventually. It just takes a little time. Yes, you will. You'll understand why I'm doing this. You might even say thank you someday. I hope so. I do hope you thank me. I remember you were so good at saying please and thank you when you were little. But I'm not doing this for the thanks. Oh, no. I would do this even if you were mad at me for a long, long time. Because I know I'm doing everything I can to help you. There's nothing better than that. Now, come on. Eat your breakfast. It's so important to stay strong and healthy. You know what? You can pout. That's fine. You pouted a lot when you were little. But soon you're going to get hungry. And when you do, this tasty food is right here, waiting for you. Stop. Just stop asking to leave. Stop asking me to leave. Stop acting like this isn't what's best for you. You're a terrible judge of what's best. You chose a bad person to date, and they broke your heart. You make a lot of bad choices, and now you need me to make better ones for you. So stop trying to change things. This is how it is now. This is how I can keep you safe and happy. Don't ask me again. I don't want to have to punish you, but I will if it's for your own good. Oh, I'm sure I can think of a few things. Nothing that would cause permanent damage, of course, but definitely some learning experiences. Definitely bigger than a timeout. You've outgrown those for sure. Be good. Just be good and everything will be fine. Be good every day forever. And we can play and laugh and have fun, just like the old days. Got it? Good. There is no choice anymore. Okay? So just get used to it. Pepper is here to save you from yourself. Today and always. Oh, look at you. You're starting to eat. That's so great. Eat it all up. Nom, nom, nom. A napkin? Oh, shoot! You're right, I forgot a napkin! Wait here, I'll go get one. Hey! 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 Hey, what are you doing? No! No, 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 no! No, that's not good! You're not supposed to hurt yourself! Oh no! I need to get this chain off your neck! Oh no! No, 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 no! Don't do that! Let go! Let go, let go! Oh, wake up, wake up! Wake up! Don't be hurt! You're not supposed to be hurt! I need to keep you safe! I need to get help! No, no! I'll get help! I'll get help! Oh, good. You're awake. You gave us quite a scare. You're in the hospital. Don't try to talk too much. I imagine your throat hurts. You were nearly strangled with a chain. I don't know anything about that. You don't have to explain anything to me. I'm just checking your vitals. Okay, everything looks good. Is there anything you need right now? Are you looking for something? There's no one else here. Are you expecting someone? You seem upset. Scared, even. Do I need to call somebody? Hmm. I think I understand. You're looking for Pepper. Yes, I know who Pepper is. Your imaginary friend, right? You said something about that when you were unconscious. You said Pepper was trying to hurt you. You don't need to make excuses. 
Are you trying to avoid a psychiatric consult? Because that's pretty unavoidable at this point. Look, I know you're scared and confused and probably in pain, but there's something you should know. Pepper isn't coming back. Not ever. No, not because of the drugs you're getting here. It has nothing to do with this hospital or the doctors. Pepper was a failure. Pepper had one job. To keep you safe and happy. And what happened? You almost died. More than once. Pepper let that happen. It's pathetic. Disgraceful, even. How could an imaginary friend be so... useless? It's a tragedy. I see I have your attention now. I know you and Pepper had a special thing way back in the day, but that's over now. You can't have an imaginary friend who would let you get hurt like that. You came so close to not waking up today. You scared Pepper, and the rest of us too. That sort of thing should never, ever happen. No, Pepper's gone. Recalled to the home office. There's a serious need for some retraining for that one. Of course you didn't know about the home office. You think imaginary friends all work independently? We're organized. Trained, taught, and carefully managed. There have been failures in the past, too, but every time it happens, that imaginary friend is immediately taken off the case. We can't have anyone getting hurt on our watch now, can we? So yes, Pepper is out of your life. For good. You have nothing to worry about there. Doesn't that make you happy? Oh, I'm so glad. I truly am. It's very important to me that you're happy. Oh, I'm sorry. How rude of me. I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm JJ. It's very nice to meet you. I'm your new imaginary friend. Oh, yes. I've been assigned to you by the director himself. He's taken a personal interest in your situation. And don't worry, I won't be repeating Pepper's mistakes. I'm a professional. You're going to be happy, and healthy, and above all, safe, under my watch. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Doesn't that sound nice? I said, doesn't that sound nice? Good. Let's get you healed up so we can go home. We're going to have so very much fun. <laughs>